What it do, man? It's your boy Battle Truth coming to you live and direct from the Battle Truth headquarters. I call this one How to Break Down a Rapist. So let me break him down just real quick. So, upon his new release, answering or responding to his victims and anybody else, According to him, he said the reason why he said he didn't know Shannon is because people kept asking. So because people kept asking, he had to tell him, hey, I don't know who you're talking about. I don't know no girl named Shannon. But the fact of the matter is, I do know her. She know me by Chris. And the sex wasn't consensual between us. Hmm. Let's examine that. You didn't know her. Wait, you do know her. But I had to say I didn't know her because everybody kept asking me about her. So I had to deny I didn't know her because I didn't want to answer to knowing her, seeing that the case is going on. Nice try. But the problem with you saying that is this. You put up the documentations of showing us who Shannon is. You did your first blog upon release, the redemption, breaking down your entire rape and how you got arrested and how you ended up getting out and how your case is dead docketed. That was, you, that was the first blog you ever did. First, you released the trailer to test the temperature in the community, to see if people receive you and like you, you know what I'm saying? You're reading the comments and stuff. Everybody welcome you back. Welcome back, Chris. Welcome back. Been a long time, man. I'm glad you back. Oh, we hot again. Oh, we doing this. So you saw the trailer was successful in uh, bringing you back that the people wanted to hear from you. Because if the people would have been thumbing you down, cursing you out in the comments and doing all these things, you probably wouldn't have came out. But when you're saying that they were ready to receive you, then you're like, oh, they ready. So after the trailer, you drop the documentary. You drop the documentary. So nobody didn't get to ask you nothing. You the one brought it to our attention. You get to breaking it down, explaining how you didn't know Shannon, that she was a cold case put on you just because you was a black man that fit the description and that these white folks ain't nothing but racist people because you a jailhouse lawyer in the jail and county helping people get back home to their family and kids by all these railroading that the white man was doing to them while they was locked up. The same thing they doing to you. Oh, yeah, you were cooking, wasn't you? Especially at a time where the Black Lives Matter movement was going on and the cops doing the killings and George Floyd and them situations. Oh, yeah, you was on a roll, wasn't you, brother? Oh, yeah, you, you was fired up. I'm talking about, oh, you was doing it. Boy, you sold it well. You had your instrumental playing in the background. You put on that sad face, you know what I'm saying? Because you definitely got the gift of persuasion. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. You definitely got them. Hmm. So you began to break down these things, saying how you never knew her or nothing like that. Then you taking it a step further, talking about how the rape kits came back negative. He said the rape kits came back negative. So you didn't know her. She was a cold cake they put on you. Y'all never had sex before. Rape kits came back negative. Hmm. And the rape kits came back negative. Upon the rape kits coming back negative, now you want to tell us only after we proved through the paperwork that you had sex with her. Now you want to say you know her. That's the only reason why he said, yeah, I know her, because you can't deny. He don't know her. He still don't know her. That's how come she didn't know who he was. Look at what he's trying to sell, y'all. 
that he knew her. If you knew her, then why she had nothing to give the police but your DNA and a sketch of you? She didn't know your name. She didn't know your name. She ain't even had your phone number. She didn't know you. If she would have known you, she would have led the police straight to you. But she didn't know you. And it's obvious she didn't know you upon everything that happened. When you raped her, she went to the hospital with your semen still on her face. She went to the police station with your semen still on her face. That's how disgusted she was and what you did to her. And that's the only evidence she had of you that your dumb ass left behind your semen on her face. They took that, ran it through the system. You wasn't recording in the system, and they didn't really have nothing to go off on. But her giving a sketch of who you might be, because she didn't know you. But according to you, you knew her. The only way she found out who you was, because you raped Kiara and Cannon, uh, uh, Kiara and uh, Karen. You raped them two years later, back to back. And your DNA came back a perfect match. Now they have an identification to who you is. And when they ran you through the system, it came back that you raped her too, two years ago. Nobody got your sperm but you. Your sperm is yours, bro. They ran you through the DNA system and it came back you. You raped this girl two years ago. That's how she got a positive identification on who you were, name and everything. Because they told her, hey, we found the guy who raped you two years ago. The John Doe, name is Christopher. That's what they said. That was the difference. That was the difference. But you don't know her. Remember, y'all, he said this before anybody even asked who she was. Nobody wasn't asking him that. He hadn't even blogged. His first blog was the documentary. That's his first blog, the documentary. He denied her because he knew these women wasn't in battle rap. So they wouldn't be knowledgeable of the things he was saying about them and against them in this community because they have no knowledge of this community whatsoever. So he can get away with uh, 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 tearing down their character. He can get away with that. Y'all don't know. Y'all don't know them. They don't know this community. It don't exist. So he could paint the picture any way he want to. And that's exactly what he did when he got here, how he painted that picture. But let's use our common sense. Remember, y'all, he said the rape kits came back negative. Remember, he's like, they don't know what they're talking about. I got, the, I got the negative rape kits. I got this. They don't know what they're talking about. I ain't never touched that woman. Now he's saying, you know what? I did touch her. I did have sex with her. And it was consensual. Too late, buddy. You're already on record saying it wasn't. You're already on record saying you didn't know her. We know through the documentations and paperwork, she didn't know you also. That's why she wasn't able to find you. That's why she didn't have a number on you. So she didn't know you. And you didn't know her. That's why he like, I ain't seen her since 2015. Yeah, when you raped her and took off. Of course you wasn't going to, of course you don't supposed to see her again. Thank God she ain't, you ain't killer. You didn't get the killer. But think about that, y'all. Now he's saying he know her. Because everybody keep asking. But again, your documentary came out before anybody asked you anything when you said you didn't know her. You said you didn't know her. So the documentary basically expose you again and show you a liar again. That's what that does. It makes you out to be a whole complete liar. And the truth ain't in you, bro. 
You a dirty dude, man. You a dirty dude and you a liar. You want everybody to go down with you. Oh, this dude, that's just how the enemy operates, man. You trying to take down as many with you as you possibly can. What is so hard with you, bro? Like, why is it so hard with you? He can't help it, though. He really can't help it. What happened to the negative DNA sex kits? You just admitting to having sex with it. So how the hell your DNA kits negative? I knew you was lying. That's why you didn't accept me on the altar giving you the $3,000 for free if you showed negative test results. You couldn't do that. Because you didn't know what we had. You couldn't even alter the paper because you didn't know if we had it or not. So you didn't want to take me up on the offer for the money. Even though you were going to get it for free. You didn't have to put nothing up. I just said I was going to give you the 3000 if you could just put up the negative DNA a results on Shannon and Kiara. But you couldn't do that. Because you know they positive. Then you just submitting out of your mouth. So how you got negative test sexual sex... Uh, 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 negative uh, sexual uh, rape kits when you didn't have a condom on with Shannon. How, how your how your how your rape kits negative and you admitting to consensual sex? See that? See that's crazy too. And you didn't even have a condom on. So you admitting to consensual sex, but. He admitting to consensual sex, but he's sitting here saying his rape kiss was negative. <laughs> Come on, man. You sound crazy, bro. They're going to show you you guilty. And again, I bet you can't show them negative rape kits, but it don't matter. You don't have to. You just admitted you was having sex with her. Now you're just trying to make an argument. Oh, it was consensual. No. No, it wasn't. You're only saying that because that's what your lawyer is now arguing as a result of your stupidity and your foolishness and your lack of self-control. And you out of pocket, player. Simple as that. You wrong and you out of pocket. And that ain't right with what you did, bro. You can get mad all you want. I don't feel sorry for you. You are a lying, dirty dog, man. I'm just keeping it real. Now you know her. I can't wait till she come out. She gonna come out and blast you. She should. Sitting up here lying. Yeah, man, this dude is terrible, man. All you do is keep telling on yourself. You're not smart at all, bro. With that being said, it's your boy Battle Truth. If it ain't my job, messing questions. It's yours.